Hello everyone and welcome to the series of Learn RxJS. In this series, we are going to look at what is RxJS and what problems we can solve using RxJS. We are also going to look at observables. So let's get started. Before beginning with RxJS, I'd like you to introduce to this amazing JavaScript library which provides amazing features in charts and libraries. Let's have a look. So you can go to jscharting.com and have a look at the features of this library. Over here you can see different kinds of charts that are supported inside this library. So I hope you love this library. Let's get started with RxJS. What is RxJS? Well, RxJS is ReactiveX library that helps us in writing reactive programs using JavaScript. What is reactive programming? Reactive programming is something that allows us to compose asynchronous and event-based programs quite easily. Well, as you know, asynchronous and event-based programs are the most used programming patterns in JavaScript, but it comes with a lot of problems. How is RxJ solving these problems? They'll be using observables. RxJS is a combination of observer pattern programming, iterator programming, and functional programming. By this time, you might be thinking, what is observer pattern, what is iterator pattern, and what is functional programming? But don't worry. In the coming videos, we are going to look at what is observables and how it helps us solve our problems using RxJS. So let's get started. 